You have asked me in quite many comments, how do I export Power BI data using Power Automate to a SharePoint list? So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. So how do we do that? I've already created the export from Power BI. I have a ton of videos on it. Go to Curval.com, Curval Learning Portal, Power BI. And if you scroll down here, export to Power BI data, you will find all the videos that I have on the topic. You will find it individually, but if you click on one, you can actually scroll down and you'll see the entire playlist. Obviously, if you know YouTube, you can find the playlist there too, but here are all the videos on the topic, so you'll find everything. How to export to Excel, how to export to CSV, how to filter the data, how to you know export more than 100,000 rows, you name it. So I have a recurrence. You can change these to whatever you need for once a month. And then I have the run a query against the data set. This is for the Northwind. Remember, the file needs to be on Parway service. And then I just have, I'm renaming the columns so I know how to, the names on my SharePoint list should be, because you need to create the SharePoint list before. So you create the SharePoint list. I'm going to have two columns. One is the date and one is the sales. I have them both as text because I haven't changed the type of what comes to, from here. So these two are going to be text. So you need to have them as text in SharePoint. Make sure you have that. Otherwise they will not show up for you. Okay, so we have data coming out. We renamed the columns that we want. The next step that you need to do is parse the JSON that comes out. But before we do that, we're going to actually run these. So save, and then and I'll, I'll tell you why we run it. It just makes things a lot easier. We're going to run it manually. So as you can see, it runs successfully. If you go to select, it will tell you what the output is for the select. It says is it looks like a JSON. So we're going to copy this code, copy everything. I copy just the first two, and then it will make you know it will give you problems because it won't loop. So copy everything that comes out. Control C, and then we're going to edit, and then we're going to go here to parse JSON because what comes out is a JSON format. And then you're going to generate from example, whatever comes out from select, right? And then it will put the right format for that type of JSON. And the next thing that you need to do is to create an item uh, on SharePoint and then go to your SharePoint site pick the list that you want. Mine is called Sales Power Automate. You see there, wait a few seconds until it you know, finds all the columns and all the stuff. And once they showed up, you just go here and say date, date. And as you can see, it's looping. That's what happens if you don't put the entire JSON, if you just have two, but then you're going to have more than two. So make sure that you copy everything. And then for sales, I'm going to put sales. I'm going to save. and test it. Right, so if we go to our SharePoint list, refresh, and here we have the data. You know, I was a little bit worried because of the blanks in here, but if you go to the output, let me show you, you'll see that it, there are blanks on sales, so there's nothing wrong with the Power Automate, it's just there are no sales on those dates, okay? So that, that's all, that's all you need. And remember, if you want to know how to do more things with exporting and Power Automate, they have an entire playlist. So make sure you go there and check it out. I'll post the link on the video so you can come directly here and I'll see you on the next one.